second half of this competition. And we start right now. And uh, look, I really do appreciate that because pretty stimulating stuff from a man who should know. And he'll be sitting and making the hard decisions as we start the third term. And as we start this third term, for the benefit of those that just joined us, we'll get your dulcet tones, Pat, to talk through your thoughts on the first half and more importantly, how you see this game going. As we say, Tyndall couldn't nail a three. Rebound is dragged down by Henson. The margin is 21 points, it's now 23 because Red Hage gets his 15th point with a two. 59-36, Olympian Pat Mickin. Well, we could talk strategy or we could talk specifics and uh, that's the ball is in the hand of the man, Mark uh, Tyndale. He's a young man, but he's, uh, he's, a, he's the, the key import for Adelaide. He's got four points till half time. With Adam Ballinger stepping out of the Adelaide team tonight with illness, you want someone. Shinchu is doing his job. He has stepped up and he's the equal point scorer and leader of, of this game. But Mark Tyndale is one who really has to accelerate his, his influence on this game. Um, Adelaide may have talked about some important strategies at half time, but there are individuals who need to take responsibility as well. That is the case. Red H has 15, Henson has 8, Way has 7, Shencha has 14 for Adelaide. And let's have a look at who's done anything out of the ordinary apart from that. Holmes has 6. Here's the outlet pass. Chance there for Tyndale. Not quite. Holmes gives it to him again. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Tyndale. Oh, he's just a little bit untidy with his dribbling, but he wasn't the one who knocked it out of court. And there'll be a ball belonging to the 36ers. Remembering tomorrow, half past three South Australian time. So that's, what is it, 12.30 Western Australian time? I think it's three hours difference. I'm worried now. I'm worried, but you'll know what I mean. There's a netball test on. Two and a half hours, three hours Eastern States. Two and a half hours South Australia. It's 59.38, 10 and three quarter minutes to go. In this third quarter, grandstand basketball, 891 ABC Adelaide, ABC South Australia, 720 ABC Perth and ABC Western Australia. So much to look forward to on our radio coverage of grandstand tomorrow as Red Hage gets rid of it. Stepping around beautifully as night. That is sweet. 61-38, 23 to margin. A lovely two-on-two -two game set up there by Red Hage and uh, Ben Knight. Just beautiful two-on-two -two patience, understanding what was required. Kept it, kept it cool until their shot was there. Finished off with a clean two points. Holmes does well. Red Hage tumbles looking for a foul as there's a push. And it spills out of court. Players at the contest, there's no questioning the 36ers intent. But it's the delivery if they can get hold of it or, more importantly, when they lose it because I didn't look at the stats for the turnovers up until halftime. I was busy getting uh, chucked. You tell, you tell us, Pat. Yes. Oh, uh, Adelaide leading, <laughs> leading that stat, stat pretty easily, 14 to 6. And also a number of shots made from the three-point territory. Three points for Adelaide coming from outside the three-point arc. 18 points for, Adelaide, uh, for Perth. Here's Shencha in for two. Shencha has 16. And the margin is 21. 61 40. Here's a Redditch for Perth. Gets rid of it quickly. Here's a chance for Way. Way. Knight's now there for the Wildcats. 21 the difference. Loudon shot clock for three seconds. He's got to go high. He's got to go accurately. And guess what? It's all net from a distance. 63-40, 23 the difference. Perth, just to my way of thinking, Pat, any time they've been challenged, they just have another gear to change into. There goes Shencha, who got rid of it, Tyndale. Tyndale has to go around one, has to go around two, has a look, has a pass. The shot was up, the shot floated, the shot missed. Disappointment as Shencha followed through. Oh, and it slipped it in beautifully. The shot was missed earlier from Winatana. Shencha has 18 points, and it's 63-21. 21 the difference, at least it's bucket for bucket in this quarter so far, eight and a half to go. That, that's true, and uh, it is very heartwarming for the Adelaide supporters to see Shencha being such a strong presence. He's going to, first of all, make the first attack on the basket and then follow up on the second and third attempts. 
He is relentless in his big-hearted effort tonight. It's impressive. It is. Now, Perth, WA, don't forget, turn the clocks forward. Tomorrow, daylight saving. It just gets so confusing. How many time zones around the country? Yes. Here come the 36ers. Away screeches Bruce. Outside the three-point line. Sheets is going, no, he's not going in. I thought for a moment. There was some screening as Bruce gets involved. And some mouthing goes on with Darnell Hinson and Aaron Bruce just sorting each other out and working out what they can buy each other for Christmas. That was a little bit of a chin wag. <laughs> And as you said, Pete, there has been no hint that Adelaide can reduce this margin. It's hovered around 20 for a while now. It's 21 points. Adelaide doesn't seem to be able to, while they score at one end, they're not being able to hold Perth's offense. Perth is very composed and very sharp offensively. As you speak, that's a bomb and a half from Mark Tyndale. He gets three. He's got seven. And the scariest sentence of the night is about to tumble from my lips as Redditch gets two as he hooks it in. He's got 17 points. Pat Micken today, two months to Christmas. Bruce, off he goes. Chencha, pass is good. Shot should be three. It's not. That was Winatana who had the open space. Perth are nailing those shots. As there's an effort and a half for the 36ers by Bruce who knocked it away. And it's out of court side ball. Two months. It's the 25th of October. That makes it officially the fastest year on record, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. What if you bought me for Christmas? Have you decided yet? Those basketball gonna... shorts. You, you, you promised me those four years ago. I'm giving you back the uh, <laughs> the book that you gave me for my birthday recently. Oh, thank you. If I don't want it back. Do you remember what it was Yeah, about? someone gave it to me. <laughs> Loughton has it for the, the, for the Wildcats. Bounce pass spills out of court. And it's 65-45. It's cruel to ask someone a question when you know he or she doesn't know the answer. <laughs> Can I give you a reminder? No. There's something about living with a low libido. Oh, was it? <laughs> oh, I knew that. I knew that. Here's Loughton for two. Missed it. Sheets, you got a good board. 65-45. Bruce takes on two. Bruce! Spectacular! on the left-hand side of the body. Two points to Aaron Bruce. That looked fancy. First lead, 65 to 47. And uh, Mark Tyndale very unhappy there. The refs are going to gather. The refs are gathering, and Redditch is not happy either. And I'll tell you what, Connor Henry is close to the action. His arms are folded. He's got some animation, I'll tell you. I think That's if we were to put the microphone into his timeout, we would hear this very croaky voice. It's starting to really crack up. He's uh, someone that it reminds me of Brian Gorgian, the vein sticking out the, in the throat. Gets very, very intense. Nobody, Pat, could remind you of Brian Gorgian. He is somebody who stands alone. Now, they're finished up being a foul on the 36ers. That might have been Tyndale. Third personal foul. No, he's only got two. So it must have been either Bruce or Winatana because I saw the fly spot up for three fouls. And it's a perfect... Wildcats ball, and they bring it back with seven minutes of play remaining in the third period. And Red Hayes' screening is good. That's good, off the ball. That's good, strong stuff. 41 to 8. They're the numbers. Kendall passes to Crawford. Back it goes. Here's the shot from Kendall. No, it's not. Crawford missed it. And it's Holmes that got it. Holmes for the 36ers. The attempted pinch. There's a look at uh, the inciting. Well, you can't see it on our radio. Darnell Henson. Flicks the fingers in the air because he crept in for a pinch, crept in for a pickpocket. He looks a little bit like, now who am I thinking of? Damon Lowry. Yes. A little bit like Damon yes, Lowry. Similar, similar build. Now, to capture this moment, Pete, 